Hey, so before we start this video today, um, I am doing a Gleam Akazune giveaway on a Twitter. If you guys want a chance to win a free Gleaming Akazune, all you gotta do is click the link in the description. It'll bring you to this tweet, and all you gotta do is just like and retweet, follow me, subscribe, join the Discord, do all that stuff, and you'll have a chance of winning a Gleaming Akazune. Um, you know, nothing else, that's literally all you have to do. It's a free Gleaming Akazune, and the giveaway will end once I reach 20k subs, and yeah, let's get on to the intro. Now, our first one is going to be a mascot Lumion. Now, as we know, inside of Pokemon Brick Bronze, we can technically say that the mascot Lumion was Hoopa. Um, whenever, you know, you kind of got into the game and you started it up, um, you always saw the, you know, kind of silhouette of the Hoopa with the purple flames in the background. And, you know, you know, for a uh, non-Pokemon player, you know, it kind of left a lot of mystery onto what it actually was. Um, obviously, if you did play Pokemon, you knew what it was and you knew what you were going to expect. But I feel like something like that, you know, the whole intro thing, could honestly be really, really good, like, cool for, you know, Lumen Legacy. Um, if we just had, you know, a silhouette of a Lumen, or at least got a teaser of it inside of the actual story, maybe, you know, just like a flying silhouette, um, that we see off in the distance or something. I don't know, um, but yeah, I think that would be pretty cool to, you know, speculate on what it could possibly look like, and, you know, what role it could play in the story. Obviously, it'd have a giant role in the story with it being the mascot Lumen, but yeah, who knows? Um, a lot of people are suspecting that it's going to be a llama type, you know, mascot Lumion. Um, obviously with, you know, the whole Llama Train Studio thing. It would kind of make sense, I guess, but I want to hear your guys' thoughts down in the comments below. Do you guys think that we're going to be getting a mascot Lumion, or, you know, what, what could it look like? T. Bradham said that we are getting a mascot Lumion, so I guess it's just, you know, it's up to our imagination. So let's get on to the next one. Now, let's get into one that's more of a fan favorite from Pokemon Brick Bronze, and, you know, something that a lot of people are requesting for it to come back, and that would be the arcade. Now, the arcade in Pokemon Brick Bronze was, you know, kind of a, um, area where a lot of people would go to, you know, obviously rack up their tickets, and, you know, get some cool prizes, you can get some, you know, proteins, um, you know, obviously that would increase your stats, and you can just get a whole bunch of stuff, you know, some new hoverboards, and just a whole lot more. Even, you know, special Lumians like Audino and all that. So, this really does beg the question of, will we be getting an arcade back in Lumian Legacy? Now, t Barnum has said that it is, you know, kind of undetermined, I think. It is like, you know, he said it was undetermined if it's coming back or not. Uh, but I honestly think that this would be a really, really awesome feature for, you know, it to come back. Um, it would definitely bring a lot of people grinding the game, um, you know, obviously, I think, for me at least, that was one of the main areas that I went to grind, trying to get that shiny Mega Salamance board from the shop, and, you know, obviously, hoverboards acted like the mounts of that game, so, who knows, I think it would be pretty cool if we could get, you know, maybe some special mounts from the arcade shop, um, I think that'd be pretty cool if, you know, obviously, saying they do bring it back, um, but yeah, I wanna hear your guys' thoughts down in the comments below, do you think that the arcade will come back? Um, to me, I hope it does, and yeah, let's go on to our next one. Now, this next one is actually already in the game, well, sort of in the game, you might just not have seen it yet, and that is Apartments. Now, Apartments in Pokemon Brick Bronze were, you know, just the top tier of luxury. Um, you got them, and, you know, they really honestly didn't serve any purpose, but to, you know, kind of, uh, have, you know, it was kind of a money flex. I'll say that it was kind of a money flex. Um, but yeah, there were three different types of apartments, ranging from a, you know, kind of lower end one that, I mean, it was kind of cheap, um, to a middle class one, which was obviously mid range, and then the luxury apartment, which costed a lot of, a lot, a lot of Poke Dollars. And yeah, I don't honestly know what purpose that's, you know, they would add them in the game f for. I'd like, it, it, it would kind of be like one of those things. It's like, oh, you have it, and you could go use it with your friends and stuff and hang out, but you know, there's really no kind of point to it. Um, T. Bradham, though, did say that apartments are actually already in the game. It's just that, you know, they're not fully implemented. He said that so far for, I think, almost every single town, there is at least one apartment. You know, obviously, it's just they haven't labeled it as an apartment. So, apparently, the apartments are not going to be locked to stuff like the Pokeball, um, I think the Golden Pokeball is what it was, or, you know, that kind of area. Um, and instead, it's going to be possibly one in, like, almost every single town. So, maybe you could have an apartment at Iowa, and then maybe one in separate city as well. Uh, I think that'd be pretty cool, and, you know, it definitely make for a wide variety of apartments, um, and definitely a lot of styles, a lot of furniture, um, and a whole bunch of more. So, yeah, what do you guys think about this feature? I hope it gets added back. I mean, you know, as kind of useless as it was, it was still a pretty cool feature, you know, hang out with your friends and stuff, and yeah, on to the next one. 
Now, this next one is going to be a little bit controversial. It is going to be the Ash Greninja or the, quote, Ninja Frog, as, you know, T. Bradham calls it. Um, but yeah, so, you know, Ash Greninja was a thing you could get back in Anthean um, that costed Robux, and it was a pretty, pretty strong Pokemon, I'll say that. Um, and yeah, you bought it for Robux, you could get it as a shiny form as well, which opened it up to, you know, obviously a lot of hunters. And, you know, after Pokemon Brick Bronze got deleted, you know, there has been no compensation yet for the Ash Greninja, which has led a lot of fans to believe, you know, will it be coming back? Now, t Bradham did say that it will be coming back in sometime around the 4th gym, or probably later, and as we know, the 4th gym is coming after the UMV, so who knows, it could be this year, or it could be, you know, kind of early to mid next year, we really don't know yet, um, and you know, obviously what the design for it could look like, and you know, the typing, what it could do, the abilities, all that stuff is still up in the air, obviously, um, I think it'd be pretty cool if they did something similar to it, you know, obviously, like, still a frog, but not like a water dark type frog, you know, kind of like Greninja is, um, but yeah, I'm kind of stoked about it. I hope that they add one of them back because, you know, they said that they're gonna, you know, obviously make the people who bought them, um, they're gonna get theirs first and then they're gonna, you know, kind of add the purchasable one. Now, this is one that I've actually talked, um, you know, about in a couple of my videos and is Mega Evolution. And now, obviously, I don't think it's going to be coming back under the name as Mega Evolution. Um, I've talked about this in my Soul Crystal video, our Soul Crystals, you know, kind of Mega Stones, which I actually put up a plausible theory talking about, you know, Soul Crystals and all of that. Uh, could they be, you know, Mega Stones? We really don't know, but, you know, as the scientists and stuff kind of put it, that whenever you put a Soul Crystal onto a Lumion, it experiences you know, kind of unforeseen power, you know, power like they've never seen before. We've seen it on Mutagon, and we've seen it powered into Protagon, uh, giving it, you know, this obviously giant power buff, and yeah, you know, obviously the whole kind of concept around it is still really blurry. Again, t Bottom said that he wanted to do it, he just really doesn't know how, um, and you know, Mega Lumians I think would be pretty cool, um, obviously it'd just be one of those nice features that we could get added to the game. Um, and I don't think every Lumion could probably receive Mega Evolution. Like Pokemon, it would just be, you know, kind of limited to a certain group. Uh, maybe, you know, obviously it could be in waves as well. They could release it in, you know, kind of like how they did with the mounts. Uh, maybe stuff like the whole starter line, uh, or like the starters could get it first. Obviously not the, uh, the first stage starters, but the final stage starters could get it. And then, you know, maybe some other ones. Uh, I don't know, maybe a Mega Tyrex. I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, but yeah. Mega Evolution, it's coming, but we just really don't know when. Our final feature is going to be fishing, and I guess we can throw in the Magikarp Pond as well. Um, but yeah, so fishing was, you know, obviously a feature inside of Pokemon Brick Bronze and, you know, mainstream Pokemon games that you could fish up a, you know, Pokemon or Lumion from the water. Um, and, and I guess in this case, it'd be a Pokemon because we haven't seen it in Lumion yet. I say yet because I'll get into that. Um, but yeah, so you can encounter it to do all that stuff. It'd just basically be like a normal encounter. Um, but you know, kind of more water oriented. All the Lumions and, or Pokemon would be water typed. And this brings me to Goppy. Now, Goppy was, you know, kind of teased in the Route 7, um, area with this one dude saying that he got back from his fishing trip and he caught a Goppy. So that, you know, kind of led a lot of people to believe that fishing was coming back. And also, Goppy pro possibly being part of the Magikarp Pond thing. Um, t Bradham said that there's going to be a new, you know, kind of, uh, Magikarp Pond-like game pass or area. Um, and it's going to include a fish Lumion. Now, uh, Magikarp and Goppy do share a lot of similarities. Um, same, you know, kind of color scheme, same, you know, kind of, uh, body shape and all that stuff. I don't want to get too much into that. Um, but yeah, I want to hear your guys' thoughts about all of these down in the comments below. And if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you go down there, like, and subscribe. Definitely let me know what you guys want to see back in Lumion Legacy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.